Hi hey YouTube, this is going to be the 2017 version of the toolbox and shop tour. Of course I'll start with the main toolbox, but I'm not going to do another long drawn out video of just the toolbox. And we'll go through everything, but uh, unless I see something new since my last one, I'm just going to kind of breeze over it. And then I'm sure that's all some people are interested in is the main toolbox. So that's why I'm, I'm going to do it first. And then, uh, you know, you can close out the video then if that's the only thing you're interested in seeing. So the toolbox itself here, this is the infamous Harbor Freight 44 inch model. And I do have the side cab installed on mine. I did take the wheels off because it, it does not move. And it's uh, very close to what I'm working on. Actually, if I can... I did have someone ask me in one of my other... Why'd you take the wheels off? Well, I really don't have a need for it. Right here's my bike lift. with a, And you can see how close it is. There's, I have no reason whatsoever to roll my toolbox around. It's, it's... You know, it's within four and a half feet of my bike lift. So, there is no reason for it to be mobile. And with that, we're going to open her up and start. I have owned this. I've owned this just over three years now and absolutely no problems with it. The uh, hydraulic struts here, you can see nothing's leaking. And it still works absolutely great. No complaints with this toolbox whatsoever. I did add the right tool badges to mine and much less popular than the snap-on but right is one of my favorite tool companies so that's why I went with mine and I guess we'll just start up here at the top and since the last one these top this top tool this cotter key puller that would be new since the last one I have shown this in uh, top tool videos though, and then I have a top tool ra ratcheting screwdriver here. Uh, some top tool bits, and here's a good case of uh, not all American made tools are so damn great. This is a Menards Master Force. I believe they are made by Apex and roundhead ratchets are my favorite but I absolutely hate this ratchet. This thing has so much back drag in it and just I do not like using it. And it's my understanding now with uh, Apex shutting down Armstrong tools that uh, you're not going to be able to find Menards Master Force made in USA stuff any longer anyhow. So that just sits up here. And as far as anything else new, maybe a couple of these uh, adapters, 3 8 to half inch, use those with the torque wrench. And CDI, this is a new quarter inch model, torque wrench. My other ones are branded right tool, the 3 8 and half inch, but uh, they are CDI models, just branded right tool. And I have the Dewalt half inch round head. These are actually made in Italy. I'm assuming by USAG, but I'm not positive on that because Stanley Black & Decker also owns those brands. And this is the quarter inch Dewalt round head. It's new since the last one. And another Dewalt non quick release pair head. This one is made in Taiwan. But I do like this ratchet. And a couple. Uh, these gear wrench 120 XPs, but people really 
I know a lot of guys just jizz their pants over these things. And I gotta tell you, I'm not a fan. I do not, I, I have tried them. And for whatever reason, I just, I do not prefer these ratchets. And they do have light back drag, but just for, I can't even give a, a good reason as to why. But I have uh, three models of them here. The comfort grip, a short handle, and the longer handle. And I do not use those ratchets any longer. They're just, for whatever reason, they do not jive with me. And other than that, I don't see anything else new in here. It's my electrical test drawer. Same flukes. And a Unity clamp meter. Nothing else new in here that I can see. Plier drawer. If I run across anything, uh, maybe these ones on the end. I believe these uh, top tool needle nose. I don't think those were in there last time. Or these top tool. Just regular needle nose pliers. Mm, I think, well, I just put these in here. This is actually, you can see it's a Motion Pro tool. This is for holding uh, motorcycle clutch baskets. If you don't own it, I 90% of the time just use an impact gun. And to get them off, you always torque them by hand. But these are for holding a clutch basket so it doesn't turn. And nothing else in there is new. These are all Sunex pliers. Don't remember if these were in my last video or not. I think I think these are 16 inch longs. And then I also have the Sunex uh, hose clamp pliers here. My SAE drawer, rarely used. These are the old uh, Craftsman USA Pro. I think I read that these were made by SK. I'm not positive on that. Nothing else changed in there. Just this and that in here. I guess these uh, impact kits. I don't remember if they were in there last time. They have a. Uh, these are both quarter inch drive. You just have metric and SAE. And these hex and torx bits made for an impact driver. Just various keys and stuff I keep in here. Don't believe these are the these are made in USA uh, Norseman drill bits. Not cheap, but uh, very good drill bits. I just keep them locked away so uh, they don't get used for stupid stuff. And here, this is a top tool file kit. I've shown that in my top tool videos. What else? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, a needle file set. I believe I got this at Harry J. Epstein's in the closeout section. Needle files, though, always handy to have. socket and ratchet drawer. Everything in here is metric. And I'll just kind of go over it and think of what could be new in here since last time. Probably these uh these are the ones on the black and yellow rail here. These are Blackhawk 
3 8 drive metric hex bit set. I don't think those were in the last one. And I'm trying to oh this this is a motion pro. This is it's made for motorcycles. It's 18 millimeter and a 12 point because you do run across those on bikes. Uh, spark plug socket. And you can either use a 3 8 drive or forget or you know put a socket or wrench up here or stick a screwdriver through. So you do have different, uh, you can use various drive tools with this. And other than that, oh, I don't think this one was in here last time. This is a, a Blackhawk quarter inch breaker bar. It is made in USA. Not all Blackhawk tools are. Blackhawk being the value brand of uh, Proto. Another Stanley Black & Decker company. And I thought I got... And this is a Blackhawk 18 millimeter six point spark plug socket. And if you can read that engraving, it says for spark plugs only. Other than those things, I don't see anything else new in here. Air, oh, right grip. Wrenches have both sets of the fully polished and the satin finish. And these are complete six millimeter through 24 in both series. Love these wrenches. Uh, my main hex kit. Just, I don't think any of these. These might be these Mayhew twisted ones. If I need a hex tool, it's in here. These are teeny torque adapters shown now. The Koa Honda wrenches shown them. That's Koa. And the Tecton metric stubbies. Nothing new in here. Stall wheel, deep offsets, vacuum obstruction, SK socket wrenches, and SK six point drive. Super Chromes. Gear wrench. Those were in the last video. Don't remember if these are or not. These are King Dick, made in England. Metric combos and right tool metric flare nuts. Uh, various stuff, this was all in the last video. Don't believe it, these are the Fakem, oh I forget what they call these, socket wrenches. Cornwell high performance wrenches, definitely my most expensive wrench set. Oop, showed that. Overrun of more metric stuff. These are various, these two on the end, these are top tool, half inch and three eighths drive metric, of course. And these Olsa, these quarter inch socket rails, they are good. I do like them. The only problem with them is their length. 
I mean, who needs a quarter inch socket rail that long? I mean, it could be half that. Just, I do like these, they're just way too long. You should, the ones that I kept, I cut way down. They are aluminum, so they are easy to cut. In here, uh, top tool picks, they're in one of my top tool videos. The rest of this stuff is not new. And I don't may I don't remember if I had the uh, three draw three jaw poolers in here last time or not. Those are tectons. And nothing else new in there. My pneumatic drawer. Also, also this part tool kit. I don't think that. I just threw that in there. Uh, part does make a lot of motorcycle and bicycle specific tools. And I bought this. All this stuff is made in China. So I tossed it in, in here. It's... I'll keep it around as, you know, my fifth or sixth set, but I just, I don't see it getting a lot of use. Otherwise, nothing new in there. Up to the side cab, the Bondis metric hex and uh, Torx drivers. Quarter inch metric. You can see I have no shortage of those. Since the last one, I don't remember if I had the Carlisle stuff in here or not. I'm pretty sure I did show it in a separate quarter inch drive specific video. There's just, there's so many brands in here that I can't remember them all. This is also a newer one. This is a, another Blackhawk tool. Quarter inch drive, flex head, round head. No detents, but see it doesn't flop around. Also has this nice knurled on the back and grab with your fingers. Is made in USA. And one of these socket sets in here is Blackhawk. I just, there's so many brands in there, I, I just, I can't remember them all. Uh, the only thing new in here, this is an ESD tweezer set. These are, you can find these on eBay or Amazon. I know I bought mine on Amazon. These are handy tweezers to keep around though. They're around ten dollars. Don't believe anything new in there. Hooks, picks, prying tools. More screwdrivers. These are not new. This is this is uh these are more motorcycle specialty tools. Uh, a lot of bearing, driver kits and removers. I th I think I gave a quick glimpse of these in a recent video. Nothing new in here, just a thread restore kit and taps and tap and die beneath that. Same one I've shown in the past. Compressor is not new, it's a Campbell Housefield. I've owned it 13, 14 years. Absolutely zero problems with it. Although used mostly today just for tires. 
and down on the end just you know my spare computer and uh, camera security system down on there and I don't know if I've shown this in the past this is a, a cheap bench top drill press I've owned it for years I believe I bought it at tractor supply here's well here's an old Dewalt drill bit kit in a metal box you don't see these anymore with no missing drill bits even more rare highly recommended you do have a fire extinguisher in your shop here's mine and above that I know these weren't in the last video these are Pratt Reed made in USA screwdrivers that's a Harry J Epstein's purchase I think they were ten dollars a lot of people don't like the acetate. I keep screwdrivers everywhere. It doesn't seem to matter what you're working on. You always need a screwdriver. So I keep them in easy reach of every place in here. Even more down there. What else? Up here, this is above the compressor. I do have a two foot blow gun here I believe the rest of that junk I've showed before probably another thing I switched all the lighting in here I won't say all of I still have a few fluorescent but all the overhead lighting is now LED in here and I do really like that and the fluorescent lights I had above the bike lift I moved on the other side of the garage So we'll kind of move on down. I have shown that in the past. It's my big right 70 millimeter. Just garage wall art. And beneath that, the right tool that's from Epstein's Day 2015. My music system out here in the shop. Just you know, old CD players don't use in the house anymore. Nowadays, mostly I just I plug my phone in to the back and uh, stream music through there. Of course, the, you got to have a fridge out in your shop. There's mine. And down beneath there, uh, this is a Cougar Pro. 3 8 drive metric, I've shown that, and this is another read. This is the big D-Walt quarter inch metric kit that comes in way too big of a box. Just keep that sitting there. My uh, D-Bold cabinet. It's stickered up. And above, I recently, I polyurethaned the top of this just to try and keep oil and stuff from soaking down into the plywood. I used to have um, a long time ago my bench grinder was mounted on top of this cabinet. I don't remember why I moved it but I did so I just I filled the holes in with epoxy here then polyurethane over top of it. That's my Wilton Vice. Which is mounted on top. And on the, on the back here, these were not in the last video. These are Black Hawk Made in USA metric wrenches. And they run from 7mm up to 19. More cheap screwdrivers. That was an Amazon purchase. They are made in China. I won't even attempt to pronounce that name. It's my Dewalt LED flashlight on the end. Magnetic tray. Just some extra uh, tire stuff. Drill Doctor. If you take the time to read the directions and set these up correctly, I think they work great. I know they, they take a lot of abuse on YouTube and every other place.
but I have no complaints with them. You buy one of these, take the time, read the directions. I think they work fine. And the uh, top pull-out drawers, I just I keep junk in them. Nothing worth showing I can think of. And down beneath are just These things turn into catch-alls, just all kinds of crap. I do keep a lot of my plug-in DeWalt tools down here. I believe that's the half-inch hammer drill. Plug in the wall, of course. Spare 3 8 drill. Having a uh, random orbit sander. DeWalt glue gun. ultrasonic cleaner. You work on anything with carbs, I, uh, these these things work great. Love my ultrasonic. And just, there's my angle grinder down there. Spare motorcycle parts, clutches. My main desk that I used out here. I did switch out the the, comp the other computer on the other side of the shop. I switched them out. It has a much larger video card in it, and it sucks down the power. And I just I don't do as much photography and video work as I used to, so I did switch them out. My other workbench. This is an old commercial door. It's been installed here. 12, 13 years, so it doesn't look so hot today. On the back wall, these used to hang on a different wall, but I've owned these Spiro metric wrenches for years. These are Bostitch. I did, I, these came from Walmart along with the magnetic whatever you want to call this, tool holder. That was also from Walmart. This is a DeWalt half-inch socket rail. And I don't know, just, I hate this type, these clip types. I think they suck. Just various junk in my bins here, my soldering station. Helping hands, solder tip cleaner. AVE ruler, best electrical tape you can buy. I don't think these were. These are the old, the old style oilers, goldenrod models, made in USA. Keep mobile one, and both of them, just as general oilers. Stare it, punch kit, pipe. This is the shelving above that. Just keep various stuff. This is a recent thing. If you're used to using, you work on bikes and the old cable louvers this style, you know, where you hook this up and you lose 80% of the, your uh, cable lube out through the ends and stuff, that these things leak tremendously. This is their new style. Forget the model number, but this unscrews, you take it apart. This leaks much, much, much less, and so you don't lose all your cable lube coming out of that adapter. I do recommend, this. it's a Motion Pro tool, so I do recommend this new style. Other junk I keep up here. Dude, I don't know if I've shown these in the past, but if you work on like laptop computers and stuff, recommend a set of these Vessel Precision Screwdrivers. They are made in Japan, and they fit those tiny screws and laptops very well.
These are also Vessel Precision Screwdrivers. Along with this one here as well. I believe all of those came from Amazon, if you're interested in those. And let's see, beneath, beneath the workbenches, this ends up as more, you know, all the blow molded cases. There's, I don't, I know my compression testers in there, various blind bearing pullers and other crap. This is just in my uh, previous video, the Cobalt Cordless Tool Workstation. If you want more info on that, check out my previous video. Then the wall control board, I've also done videos on those recently. Dewalt metric wrenches and just the sizes I need. The one on the end, the 36, Dewalt's only go up to 32. So this is a Sunix for uh, some bike axles and long reach magnetic tool there. These are for doing a uh, motorcycle for collapsing uh, brake calipers. Probably work for cars too, I would assume. My old Cobalt Made in USA screwdrivers. You can, I did have to replace one under warranty. More magnetic trays and more motorcycle specific tools, mostly for head bearings. These are the uh, Motion Pro bead breaker for doing tires. I do like those. More magnetic tools and a mirror. The Koa tools, I've done a separate video on that. More, I do pr much prefer the plug in drop lights versus flashlights. Here's kind of one, I don't think I've shown this before. It was Ford Tools. This is a great quarter inch kit. I mean, it has just about everything you would need in a quarter inch drive thing. It's of course, branded Ford. I bought this at Summit Racing. I think it was $18. Of course, you know, Ford, big American car company. Made in China. But that was just a random purchase. <laughs> here on the floor this is this is the cleaner that I use in my ultrasonic cleaner you can find this on Amazon it's not too expensive works great for carbs though if you're doing uh, carburetor jets and stuff this stuff works really great for WD-40 I buy it by the gallon and get the refillable just uh, pump sprayers. Much, I believe this is like eighteen dollars at Lowe's. Walking down another pump oiler. My Dewalt bench grinder. And we're going to take a little break here, and we'll walk to the other side. There's uh, another look at the bike lift there's another one of my personal bikes sitting on it this uh it's a 1982 honda ft500 ascot they only made this thing for two years and now they're damn near impossible to find parts for and mine has also has the infamous starter issue and i just can't find parts for it. If you, if you can find parts for it, people ask outrageous prices. The little uh, spring clutch that's in here. There's one on eBay right now listed for $500. And I'm, just, I'm not willing to invest that kind of cash in this thing. I'm thinking of just making a gas powered uh, wheel starter. This bike, it does have a center stand, so I could just pop it up on the center stand and uh, 
pop start it. Dude, I put a new back tire on it recently. Of course, anything here in Ohio, it's 25 years or older, you can put these historical plates on. My dad purchased this bike brand new, and uh, it was uh, 1982 for $999. And for whatever reason, it's the only bike of my dad's that I kept when he died in 2003. So I'll probably be coming off the lift here soon. And it's just it's just gonna sit on the other side of the garage till I make up my mind to decide what to do with it. I'll never sell it, but st I'm still very happy with the bike lift. And of course I have another separate video on that if you're interested. You can check it out. Okay, this is walking through the door out the other side of my garage, my Dewalt tool board. And I don't think there's really anything new out here. This is where I do keep some SAE tools though for just for working on outdoor power equipment. That's the only thing current I can think of that still comes with SAE bolts. So I do have SAE tools out here just hanging on the wall. My Dewalt radio, battery charger. I think I uh, do this, just this old Craftsman meter out here. That's the WD-40 bottles. You can buy like four of these on Amazon for five or six dollars. So I have these strategically placed everywhere. Just use lens wipes. Use those for like cleaning my safety glasses and stuff. Or help my motorcycle helmet visors. Performance tools, these absolutely suck. I should throw them in the trash, but for whatever reason, I never have. Dewalt quarter inch drive kit, 3 8 half inch. Shown those in the past. And nothing, this is a lawnmower blade sharpener. It's in one of my videos. And recent grease gun with a grease gun holder. This is sold as a kid on Summit Racing. You get the grease gun, the holder, and a bearing packer. I think it's somewhere around $30 on Summit Racing. And this is just, I keep this uh, single right tool to 1719 just for doing oil changes on my car. So that's going to do it for the 2017 version. Any questions at all, I'm always happy to answer them. So uh, want to know something else or something more in depth, just leave a comment below and I'll answer you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching.